Expert system, first and foremost, um, that's a very old fashioned term. People have been trying to develop these for many decades now. And what they simply imply is that an expert knows certain things about a system. They can codify those into either rules in the case of like a medical doctor or to direct physical relationships in the case of an engineer that's trying to map inputs and outputs and knows the physics behind the situation. And so expert systems in theory are very straightforward. You're building a massive decision tree that says, I know these physical realities about the input output relationships and I'm going to map those into a massive decision tree and there I have it. I've got an expert system. Give me any input. I'll give you the right output and life is great. It turns out that they work really well for tiny bounded problems. They do suffer from the curse of dimensionality. As soon as you get into a large number of decision trees, they become super brittle and they're really hard to maintain. So they handle edge cases very, very poorly, um, but they have their place.